Hi, welcome to Stride University. We're going to continue our discussion of refunds today, and uh, we're going to go over uh, refunds without a receipt. Or uh, if you're a, a, a new uh, customer to Stride and uh, previous order history, so if uh, so even someone has a receipt from a, a previous purchase before you started using stride this is gonna be the best way to to handle that so without a receipt um, we stride does not allow uh, credit card refunds and that's for security security reasons so the the best way to handle this um, because the customer might not have this receipt uh, if you can find the product uh, that's the best best thing to do. So if uh, if this if our customer today, we'll call him Billy Bob, um, brought in a cabinet with doors that he was returning, the we can simply uh, hit that cabinet with doors. We're going to come down here and do quantity plus and minus one. So we have a negative amount there. Now if you have um, e-wallet turned on and you want your, your customers to be able to use e-wallet uh, this is kind of a virtual um, account essentially we could put that right back onto their account and if they came back in they could say hey my name's Billy Bob and it would be this would be a payment method at that point if you don't have that turned on or you don't want to use that method you can always do a gift card and so at that point you could uh, scan your gift card and I'm just make up some codes here and the amount on that gift card would be the total uh, in stage right now we don't have taxes on so it's just the same as what the cost is I would confirm that um, oh I put a negative in there um, so I need to I'm just gonna delete that back out put my gift card code back on there uh, confirm that you'll notice my total is zero I'll go to payment and I can I can validate that and that gift card will be on there you can see I've got the the card total uh, the return on that uh, on that product we're gonna go ahead and hit uh, cancel I don't want to print that out so that's one way um, maybe you don't you can't find the product in here uh, for some reason it's just not pulling up uh, stride comes preloaded with with uh, a custom item or a custom service or a custom uh, measurement if you sell by the yard or foot or something like that so uh, if you can't find the item it's just like if you can't find it on the the original point of sale but you're gonna actually take it back you could actually come in here put the custom I item in um, they brought back a shovel today, and I'm just going to mark that as a refund. I'm going to hit add it, and then the price that we're refunding it. Oh, the quantity is negative one, and the price was uh, twelve ninety nine. So. We're going to go in there. I have taxes on this, and so you'll see that uh, this custom item is being taxed. So, again, we could put it onto the e-wallet refund. Um, and if I click that, you'll notice that uh, we're good to go. We go to our payment. And, oh, I need, I need a customer. So we're going to put that on Billy Bob's. And... put that there to top up the e-wall with that total the 14.94 do our payment validate that and we're we're good to go now what that e-wall will look like is if we go into our customers you can see Billy Bob he now has an e-wall of $14.94 so that was the the refund amount so now if I um, if I come in here and Billy Bob comes back in and he wants to buy this uh, storage box we can just do e-wallet pay 
and go to our payment and validate that because he used his in-store credit essentially and then if we come back you can see he only has two dollars and thirty cents left in his e-wallet so kind of a cool different way there's a couple of different ways you can refund customers if they if they don't have a, a receipt um, or they don't remember you can't find their order in the order history this is one way you can do in-store credit um, for a refund and as always feel free to reach out to us uh, the best way to reach us is on through the documentation uh, site on our website and you can fill out the form and we'll we'll get back with you thanks